Hey, welcome to Subframe. Today, we're going to look at theming and especially how you can transform the look and feel of your UI from something out of the box and more generic into something that speaks your brand's personality and stands out. We're going to look at a number of things. First, we'll take a look at some of the theme knobs that we have. Colors, fonts, changes that apply everywhere in your subframe design system. Then we're gonna dig into some of the component level changes you can make as well that can drastically change how your UI feels. And then lastly, we'll even show some advanced techniques so that you could really stand out using Tailwind classes like Gradients. All right, let's get started. So first, let's take a look at what we're aiming for. You can see, first of all, that this uses a card-based layout but set behind a gradient, light gradient background. Um, this gives it a little bit more depth than a traditional interface, and you can tell by the way that these cards are rounded, it also gives a friendlier look as well. Of course, you can see that content plays a huge role. There's different types of images that are colorful and have icons, and that can really transform your UI. You can see that on the component level, things like buttons can also be a different style, and even the usage of them could it make an impact. Lastly, there's a few typographical adjustments we'll make, such as making the fonts feel a little lighter, and we're actually gonna try a different font face that has a friendlier feel. All right, let's get started. First, I'm gonna go in and update some of the main elements of my theme. The biggest difference that I see is not actually the brand color, which isn't used as much, but something like the neutral color. If you go edit here, you can choose something more warm toned or more blue toned, like slate. We're gonna use this today. You can immediately see how some of this light gray placeholders changed. We're also gonna make our brand a little bit more like indigo, and you'll see why in a little bit. The big difference that we can do here at the global level is changing our fonts. First, I'm gonna update our fonts to Montserrat. Next, we're gonna update the font weights. By giving the headings a little bit more weight, they're gonna stand out against the background we'll add. Let's do that now. We're also gonna update our corner radius. Now this sets the default radius everywhere. And when you look at this app, you can see that it's definitely higher, again, to give it something more of a personality. I'm gonna bump it up all the way to 10. We'll also adjust the shadows a little bit. Now these are shadows that are used by default for cards. And while these are cards, they differ a little bit because we are gonna get rid of the border and we're gonna get rid of that shadow almost completely. So first I'm gonna update the shadow here from the default by lowering the blur and making it just a little bit lighter. And that way it'll really stand out without the need of the border. I also noticed that some of our fonts can go down just a little bit. Now you always wanna make sure that your fonts remain legible, but in this case, there's quite a bit of contrast already with the rest of the UI. And you can see that these fonts can be a little bit lighter. All right, let's move in to some page level changes. The biggest change we can make immediately is with the background. If I go to the page contents, I can set the background to be neutral 50. Now this will immediately create that distinction between elements like cards and that background color. Next, let's adjust these cards. Getting rid of these borders will really help it feel cleaner and sleeker. I go into my card component, which I've already created, and I'm gonna jump into this card and get rid of that border. You can see that our rounded corners are automatically applied, same with our shadows, because I used the card quick style. If I go back here, you can see that already it's starting to feel a lot more similar to this. I'm going to repeat this for our other card components. And that way, we're on our way to something a lot more closer. Now. One of the biggest things I mentioned is changing the content. So instead of these gray placeholders, let's actually put in the images that came with that design. Already, you can see how big of a difference that made. Next, let's take a look at these buttons. You can see that I use the default brand primary here and the neutral secondary button down here. One of the things that our design does a little bit different is actually use neutral in both places. And this neutral is also filled, not outlined. We want to update these. With subframe, 
Even our out-of-the-box design system components can be restyled to suit your needs even with all these variants. So let's look at this neutral secondary. We're going to update this to neutral 100 and get rid of that border. You can see that this automatically changes the hover states. I could change them if I want to match this new button. I'm also going to update this neutral tertiary because I saw that it was a little bit darker when used alone. We can quickly preview our component changes right here in the editor. That's looking good. Let's go back and see what that looks like in our designs. Great, that one was updated, and this one, I'm just gonna switch so that it uses the secondary variant. You can see immediately that this already changed and made the interface feel a bit more cohesive. Now, if you're ever doing something that requires a little bit different uh, adjustments, you can always customize. I detached the style here and dropped the font weight of the secondary header just so that it differentiates itself from this one. All right, things are starting to look pretty good. Now, let's see what we can really do with the interface by going in and updating the background. You can see that first, I just set it to neutral 100, and that already creates a nice cohesive look. But we can go in and customize our styles even further. So to do that, I'm gonna go into layout, and whatever I do here applies to all pages and everything behind it, including the navigation. Instead of the default background, I'm going to go in and have this gradient that I customized using the same Tailwind colors that we use so that I could copy it, add it to our Tailwind classes, and voila. That looks pretty close. Let's see what it looks like in our page. Go in, remove that previous background, and just like that, we have something that really fits this interface. Overall, I'm feeling pretty happy with this. Let's just add one more avatar, put a smile here, and look at the preview. In just a few moments, we went from something that looked pretty generic into something that really has its own brand personality and stands out in the sea of interfaces out there. The best part is that I can go in, click view code, and copy and paste this entire page, including all the components we used and all the Tailwind, including custom Tailwind classes that we applied. This way, I can get everything I see here in production, pixel perfect, immediately, all with the power of subframe. This is just one example of how to create unique, beautiful UI, all in subframe, using the power of themes, component editing, and some advanced tailwind techniques. Thanks.